Hello. We've been learning about amphibians the last week or so. So I'm going to share a book with you called From Tadpole to Frog. And this one's talking about a bullfrog, which lives in California, but isn't from here. We call it non-native. But here are the places that they live right now, or close to now, throughout the United States. Here we are in California, so they live here, even though they're not from here. From tadpole to frog. This is Frog Pond, but where are the frogs? What season does it look like with these trees? When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. These are the big bullfrogs. They stay there when it gets cold. After the ice melts, flowers appear birds return and pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are, here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you might hear a broom, broom, broom. The males are calling to their mates. Where we live we don't get too much ice on our, we don't get ice on our ponds very often, but other parts of the country it happens more. The females hear the call. The male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, these eggs, here's the eggs, or they might be spawn, hatch. Can you tell what these are? Hold it closer. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. So these frogs are in the water and they lay their eggs in the water and then the tadpoles are living in the water. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants, but water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too and they're eating the tasty tadpoles. So not all of the tadpoles that hatch survive because other things need to eat them. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are any tadpoles left? Hmm. Look here. Are they tadpoles or wet leaves? They look pretty similar, huh? They're camouflaged. They're brownish speckled tadpoles. Hundreds of them float by with the brownish speckled leaves. Eating and swimming, swimming and eating, the tadpoles grow fast. When winter blows again, when winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move, they just sleep. See how they're in the mud. Not all frogs do this. This type does. When spring sunshine warms the tadpole's world, they awake hungry. So they swim and eat, eat and swim. Tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while the tail grows shorter. So in this stage, they're the froglets. They're a little bit different than a tadpole, but not quite a frog. <coughs> Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long-tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change more. Their lungs develop and more. Mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. See how they're changing? becoming more like a frog. So they're a frog. 
When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles. Now they use their strong legs and webbed feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap onto land. So until this point, they've lived in the water. And now, because they're amphibians, they can go from the water to the land easily. The frogs flick out their long, sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now where are the frogs? Slowly the days grow colder, winter winds blow, birds fly south. Once again, the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? Do you remember where they would go when they would get colder? Here's a few different types of frogs. They said there are about 2,000 types of frogs. They are different in size, shape, habits, and color but they are alike in many ways. All frogs grow from eggs to legless fish tadpoles, or the froglets, to four-legged adults. The frog pictured throughout this book is called a bullfrog. It is the largest frog in the United States. The bullfrog tadpole takes up to two years to change into a frog. Other tadpoles take anywhere from two weeks to two years to change into frogs. Here are some other kinds of frogs. You see this, oop, this guy is called a leopard or grass frog. Leopard frogs are the most common frogs in the United States. They are covered with leopard-like spots and have a deep chuckle. <laughs> well, we should look up what that one sounds like. This oop, is a pickerel frog. Pickerel frogs are greenish brown with a squarish dark brown spots. Poison comes out of their skin and snakes will not eat them. Here's this guy, or gal, is a wood frog. Wood frogs live in the woods. They lay their eggs in quiet woodland pools. They are brownish with black robbers, robber masks on their face. Spring peeper, is this guy. Tiny spring peepers have loud, clear voices. They start to sing after the first warm rain. Peepers are one of the first signs of spring. And this one is a gray tree frog. Gray tree frogs live in trees and shrubs. They come down only to lay their eggs in nearby ponds or streams. Their color changes to match the trees. They can stay still for a long time so their enemies do not see them. The end. See you later.